Hi guys, Dino speaking again. Now I'm just going to quickly go through the cash flow analysis on the Blue Skies development in Queensland. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to go through it. You know, I've only kept the first year so you can understand how it actually works on the cash flow. So the property value is around 359. That's the average price you're going to be paying at those townhouses in um, Blue Skies in Queensland. Now, then we've got purchase costs. Now, the purchase costs do consist of your stamp duties, your loan costs, there's um, conveyancing. So that's in there. And then we've got, so the total amount, if you got the 359 plus the 12, and then you've got your loan cost of 33, your total amount, the loan amount you're going to borrow is about 375.821, which means it depends on how. Uh, okay. Now, I've based it on a 5.78 capital growth, which is in the area. The inflation rate, I've set it at 3%. And I've put a rental return of $340. Now, if we have an interest rate of 4.5%, um, which means the interest rate you'll pay out is $16,912. Okay, But you've already getting into the, your pocket 17326 but we have expenses, your, your rates, your body corporate, your property manager, your insurances, all that, which is going to come to around about $5,639. So if we have the rent, $17,000, minus the $16,009, and minus $5,600, you'll be out of pocket about $5,225 per year, which is roughly around $100 a week. Now we're going to depreciate, we're going to depreciate the building, as you can see there, at 2.5% of the building, which on the first year alone, you should, or for 40 years, you should be able to claim $6,074 for 40 years. And then you've got depreciation on the fittings. On the first year, you should be able to claim, going by the tax depreciation schedule, $7,190. Now, loan costs, I put in there about $3,399. Everyone's different, depends which bank you actually go to. Some banks um, do charge a lot less, and you might be able to get away with a lot of different expenses. But talk to your finance person, he should be able to help you with that. But anyway, whatever you're going to pay, as far as your loan costs, even if you're paying mortgage insurance, you'll still be able to claim that for the first five years. Okay? So we can claim that. So the total deductions on this property should be around $36,495. Now, this is just an example, just remember that. If you're on an income of $80,000 and you're gonna claim that amount of money, you should be able to get back $6,605. So we had a shortfall of $5,000 up here, $5,225 to be exact. And then we get back on the tax man, $6,605, which means you should have in your pocket $1,380 at the end of the year, which means you're $27 positive. Now you have a couple of options that you can actually keep. You can pay that $100 a week, which is a, which we call it a false savings plan. Now what you do when you get that tax return, you can actually use it for your holiday or pay off your mortgage. Okay. Now if you have the person who actually shown you this video, he should be able to show you a couple of ways that you can utilize that to benefit you for the future. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Wishing you all the best.